DNA fingerprinting. A robbery occurred at Tom's jewelry last night. Along with the jewelry missing, Tom was discovered dead. The police was contacted. There were four individuals in the store near the time of the robbery occurred. Richard, Tom's father, Alex and Rachel, who both work at the store, and Lucy, who is a customer. The forensic team revealed that they have found a hair at the crime scene and decided to take DNA samples of all individuals at the store during the robbery, including Tom, the victim. They used the hair found to obtain a DNA sample, then amplified it using PCR. Then, they used gel electrophoresis to separate the DNA. Smaller molecules travel further down than larger molecules. Thus, we can compare the DNA of the suspects with the DNA found on the hair and identify who the murderer is. From the results found, we can compare the DNA analysis of each suspect. At loci 1, Lucy's and Alex's bands do not match with the bands of the DNA found at the crime scene. Thus, both cannot be robbers and are eliminated as suspects. On the other hand, Richard's bands do match with the bands on the hair, and one band matches with Tom's band. That can be because Richard is Tom's biological father. Nonetheless, since his bands match with the hair found, Richard is still a suspect. Rachel's band also matches with the hair found at the crime scene. Thus, she is also a suspect. From VNTR loci 1, we eliminated Lucy and Alex. Thus, we do not have to compare their bands at loci 2. From VNTR loci 2, we can eliminate Richard from being a suspect as his band do not match with the DNA found at the crime scene. Rachel's bands, on the other hand, matches the DNA found at the crime scene. Since Rachel's band matched with the hair found at the crime scene at both loci, we conclude that Rachel robbed the store and murdered Tom.